Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you so much for basically being on this path with me. It's a good feeling to know that when you're going through things, other people can resonate with the things that you're going through. And basically knowing that you are not alone on going through this crazy journey and adding another piece to your puzzle to basically help you out during your crazy journey. <laughs> so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you... Uh, if you are comfortable, uh, well, if you've been watching my videos for a while, that's what I meant to say. If you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love to uh, get to know you as much as you're getting to know me as much. You know as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gifts and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or you know it just gives you some good vibes you would love to share with a family family friend or a fellow empath that is going through some hard times that need some validation or confirmation towards anything please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support is so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video y'all uh you know my favorite one is buddha i love buddha it's like i've been having a hectic crazy day um and then as soon as this i'm listening to this meditation is really just calming me down because it was like too much today it's called releasing subconscious blockages and negativity inner peace uh positive energy sleep meditation music and i will post that link in the description box below Y'all, it's just been so crazy lately. I had to take me a break. Y'all know I usually do, you know, videos back to back. I usually try to do them every day. But it's just like since these upgrades and downloads, I've been getting so intense lately since I started back doing videos. I try to at least take a day off because I'm not going to force myself to do something, especially if I'm all, you know, my, my energy is all crazy. But today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's feeling discombobulated. Yes being discombobulated i was talking to like you know my my one-on-ones to you know my my brothers and sisters and telling them you know they're asking me hey Rosalind, how you doing and stuff like that and i'm just like you know what <laughs> i said Rosalind is going through it like crazy it's like my eyes have been shaking really bad and while they're shaking i see flashes of light you know and i'm just like oh gosh you know um because i haven't had seizures since i was like 26 years old so that kind of scared me a little bit because i was just like you know what i don't know what's going on with me I'm, let me just relax and just you know just take me some self-care because i don't need to be doing no videos when i'm feeling like this i mean it's not, it's not intense as it was for the last two days that's the reason why if you have left me a message or anything like that comment on my other videos i have not replied back that's the main reason why because it was just like i did not need that energy projected off of y'all but it's just like universe has just been going crazy it's like you get messages and all this stuff and just feeling discombobulated i'm just needing to know is anybody else feeling this way like your 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 balance seems kind of off right now i know i was on facebook yesterday and people were like is that dark you know is the darkness like really coming at you right now and it really have been you know it had me thinking about a whole lot of different things that i did not want to think about things were coming up that you know things have just been happening to me just messed messed up like left and right and it's just like okay universe you're always trying to tell me to stay positive during all these different things but it's kind of hard to stay positive when things is like you know stopping your you know stopping your shine and stuff like that even though you have to think of it at times it's like you know is this something you can't control you shouldn't sit up here and stay mad at it be pissed off for a minute say what you gotta say and just leave it alone you know because i had to ask god for forgiveness so much yesterday for the last two days because i said i've been just going through it i've really been going through it and y'all know if i tell y'all 
if I'm going through some stuff, I just don't want to project that out on nobody. You know, I just want to come back when I'm good. You know, it's not all the way better like I want it to be, but it's good enough to where I can make videos. So I'm not going to have, you know, my, you know, my little dark situation stopping me from helping others. Because, you know, we all go through things. Like I tell y'all, you know, I keep it real with y'all. I go through things just like you do. It's just there are certain things I just tend not to project on, you know, uh, out to y'all you know it's just like because we're all going through a lot of things right now you know i have friends that you know um that i connect with especially on messenger and you know i try to send them stuff to make them laugh and you know because i know I, I was in a bad mood so i was just seeing le stuff left and right that had me laughing and stuff like that so i said let me send it to somebody else because i know we're going through some dark times you need somebody to come back and you know send you something just to make you laugh or you know get your spirits higher you know because it's like you know I, i've had some friends that lost some people in their life recently and you know they're going through stuff and you know i, I was really feeling their their energy i'm just like oh let me block myself you know I, you can't you know this is all a process somebody got to go through especially when you lose somebody you have to go through that situation of, you know, trying to get understanding out of it, peace and all that other stuff. And it's a hard situation to go through because it's like, even when it comes to my dad right now, it's like, I know those weeks is getting ready to come up like two and a half, three weeks. And I'm just like, oh God, just please give me strength. You know, nobody still has any answers about what happened to him. And that's, that settles very heavy on my heart. Even though I'm trying to let that go, it's just like losing a parent and not having closure on top of, you know, not actually meeting with them in a physical presence again. You know, if you're adopted and you watch my videos, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. You know, because you always want to be able to connect with your real parents. You know, I feel like I try not to be angry, but I, you know, I just tell the universe all the time, you know, it, it should be a God given right. You should know your family. You should know where you come from. You know, I know everything is happening for a reason. I know I don't understand y'all's way, but I need some answers. I need some closure because this is driving me crazy. You know, I'm trying to just stay strong through it all, but it hurts. It really, really hurts not knowing you know, who is held responsible for my dad, because I know he wouldn't have generally took some medicine like this and did not know the, you know, the measures of this by causing him to die. I know he wouldn't have did not, nothing like that. So just going through some mess like that and not knowing who's responsible for it and all that situation, it hurts a lot. So it's just like, you know, I've been watching a lot of things where people are starting to connect with their parents again, or, you know, a single parent and they, you know, throughout them growing up they're finally meeting their you know their dad or whatever and they're having an animosity towards them because they weren't there in their lives you know so i'm sitting up here you know crying i'm just like dad you know that that, that hit close to home and just do, going through that situation knowing i know how this person feels that you know that messes a person up and it's just like i feel like when you connect with somebody like that and you know this is your parent don't hold anger you know even though i don't know what their situation is like if i can see if that parent had a choice to be in your life and just didn't want to then i can understand the animosity but if they're trying to make that clean slate saying hey i know i messed up and i know i should have been there but i'm trying to be here now you know give them that chance you know because it's just like when i look at the situation about my father i know my father tried to be in my life in and out in and out you know throughout these years but my family kept him away and it's just like with my mom I don't know what my situation is with my mom because I've reached out to her and all that stuff but it, it's just like I don't know if it's just the fact is you know it was fed to her by my adopted parent family that you know I wouldn't I can't stand her or I'm mad at her or something like that because I really don't feel like a mother would disown her child like that unless some something's been said to her for her not to want to get in contact with me so it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's coming you know that's coming out that i'm really trying to deal with so it's just like when y'all going through some different things and it really seems hurtful for the things you're going through i always look at it and i have to keep telling myself that there's it has to have a bigger picture behind that you know the universe wouldn't have you dealt this this issue stick you know for a reason unless there there is a purpose to serve behind that so you know just try to keep faith and that's what i'm doing trying to keep faith and keeping strong on knowing there has to be a bigger picture than that you know what things are done in the dark will soon come to light and i have to fix you know i have to keep telling myself that you know your family ain't gonna be you know uh 
having all the stuff that they've done to you and kept you away from your biological family for financial, you know, situations. This ain't gonna be going into the dark for some for for so much longer. It's been almost damn near 40 years since they've done, you know, they've been keeping up the charade for so long. So it's just like I know it's bound to have to come out. You know, the truth is gonna be told. So I have to just keep, you know, patient on that, even though my patience is very, 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 very thin, you know, because like I told y'all, I'm like a Taurus, but Sun, Moon, Rising, I got Leo, Scorpio, Gemini, and um, I forgot what else it is, and what is Leo, Scorpio, and Gemini all wrapped into one, that's not good, <laughs> that's not good, so riding on top of that, you know, my daughter was like, mom, throughout everything and your sobriety, I'm so proud of you, I gotta be proud of myself, because by now, I would have been having a drink, cigarette, blunt, something, but I haven't been, I've just been dealing with it, you know, I, I'll probably fuss and cuss about it for five, five or ten minutes, saying, okay, you're over it, all right, go, you know, and just leave it at that, and just be in my feelings for a minute, and just leave it alone, and try to, you know, keep myself in a better place but you know knowing you're going through things and you might be pissed off at the world right now you might be pissed off at the universe like why do you got to keep constantly going through that especially when you're trying to keep your head up be positive about everything you, you know there has to be a bigger picture for you to have to keep going getting tested like this there is you know even though i don't know about mine hey i'm gonna just keep it moving because it's like the more f-ups i have the more videos i make the more videos i make the more it comes to light that other people are not going through these things by themselves we're going through really tough times right now and it's like dad when is our break coming when it is coming it's coming you got to just be strong be patient about everything that's coming to you because better days are coming for you but you discombobulated for a reason because it got you reflecting on a whole lot of different a whole lot of whole lot of so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video much love to uh dana much love to cynthia i'm keeping her in my prayers y'all keep cynthia in her prayers i'm not gonna put her business out there but just keep give send her some uplift because she really truly needs it right now and much love to Jesse as well. So I will see y'all later. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know you're going through it, but you're trying to stay strong throughout it. You know, I would love to hear y'all's, you know, y'all's opinion on your feedback on this video. It will greatly be appreciated. But know you were truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. And stay strong because, you know, strength is all we got right now. So I'll see you in my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wow.